Lord help us to get right. <laughs> During the mid-1920s, jazz music was steadily gaining popularity across America. In an effort to promote and preserve interest in old-time fiddle music and square dancing, Henry Ford would regularly host fiddlers and hold huge square dances at his home in Michigan. In December of 1925, Mr. Ford hosted fiddler Melly Dunham of Maine arranging a tour, and promoting him as the best old-time fiddler in the nation. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, Ford and Dunham's exploits were making daily headlines in the city's newspapers. Upon reading two such front page headlines on December 15th, Chattanooga Old Fiddlers Association President J.H. Gaston decided enough was enough and issued a call to arms, or bows as it were, to area fiddlers. Old-time fiddlers of the region were invited to compete in a historic contest held at the Hamilton County Courthouse. The purpose of the contest was to determine the best fiddler in the area, who would then challenge Melly Dunham for his self-proclaimed title. When the rosin dust finally settled, Sawmill Tom Smith was declared champion local fiddler who would challenge Melly Dunham. While a challenger to Ford's fiddler had been found, J.H. Gaston had still bigger plans for the Chattanooga Fiddlers Convention announcing a tri-state contest would be held less than three months after the first courthouse convention. The response from fiddlers of surrounding states was incredible with over 200 old-time fiddlers taking part in the contest in early March 1926 at the brand new Memorial Auditorium. Fiddling his way through the crowd, local youngster Jess Young emerged the Tri-State Champion. The Chattanooga Fiddlers Convention continued to gain popularity and recognition over the following years. The annual event drew crowds of up to 5,000 people per year and all the biggest names in old time fiddle and string band music, including Gid Tanner. Uncle Dave Macon. Clayton McMitchin, Low Stokes, and Riley Puckett. While many counties and states across the nation held their own fiddle contests and conventions, the Chattanooga Old Time Fiddlers Convention alone 
was considered to be the Southern Championship. The event continued strong up into the 1940s, when war and fuel rationing put an end to the convention, and so many like it across America. For more than half a century, Chattanooga's Southern Championship of old time fiddling lay silent. Its history and legacy only living in newspaper articles and the memories of those who were there. In 2010, Chattanooga Old Time musician Matt Downer revived the Chattanooga Old Fiddlers Association and brought the Great Southern Old Time Fiddlers Convention roaring back to life. Once again draws the best old-time musicians from across the South to compete for top honors in dance, banjo, string band, and fiddle. inside historic Lindsay Street Hall. All contests are presented without the use of any microphones or amplification, creating an intimate and immersive old-time experience.
More than just a competition, the Great Southern Old Time Fiddlers Convention is a yearly reunion of the old time community who gather in Chattanooga each March to celebrate the history and heritage of this unique event and to be a part of the Great Southern Tradition.